Hello everybody, you don't know who I am because I'm just a nobody, but that's not important. What's important is the game I'll be playing today, which is called Sherbert in a Bottle, a visual novel about the power of friends. Okay, I think it worked. Uh, hello? Can anyone hear this? This feels kind of weird. Uh, like I'm talking to myself. So this game does have three endings, so I'll get all of them. Um, let's acknowledge him. Whoa, hey, sorry, I wasn't fully expecting that to work out. I, uh, hi. <clears throat> oh, great otherworldly being, I, Grandmate Sherbert, am here to uh, make contact with you. That's what I've been told by my superiors to try and do, at least. If you can hear me, I'd like to speak with you. Let's accept the offer to talk. Great, so uh, who exactly am I making contact with? Just call me nobody. Nobody, are you sure? Yes. Nobody, huh? That's surprisingly pronounceable. Glad, I was worried there'd be a language barrier. I'm gonna stop doing this voice now. <clears throat> well, nobody, thank you very much for responding to my call. My name is Sherbert, and as I said, I'm the Grand Mage for the region of Gingerbread. In fact, I'm one of the youngest mages ever to hit the Grand Level. Why are you shaking? They call me a real prodigy. You look very nervous. <clears throat> Which sure is a lot of pressure. Yeah, I can I can see that. I've been tasked with the experimentation of magic, and I've been researching the possibility of other universes. Today is the day I finally made contact with someone. Or maybe it's something. Uh actually I should probably ask. This is probably a weird question, but what exactly are you? Are you a human or something else? I'm a human. Okay, cool. Just wanted to check. You can never fully be sure with these things. One time, I accidentally made contact with a client's pet instead of their dead relative. What's worse is that I had no idea until about halfway through the meeting. That was awkward, having to ask why their relative was so enthusiastic about belly rubs and eating pet food. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> Anyway, nice to know you're human too. You can see everything, right? And hear me too? Yeah. Okay, great. Though I suppose I wouldn't have been able to talk to you up until this point if you couldn't. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I know this is probably a little weird, or that's about me or about what you're doing here. I'll try and answer everything the best I can. Okay, let's save. Um, okay, why are you contacting me? Why? Mostly to see if I could, to be honest with you. I've never done it before, and to my knowledge, no one else has either. Pretty simple reason, I guess. Where is this place? This is my laboratory, though it's really just a room I was given. No, not that I'm complaining. I've done my best to make it my own. If there's anything in here you want to know about, just let me know. Since I don't know what your world's like, maybe some of what I have seems strange to you. <clears throat> yeah, what is this? All that stuff on the table? Yeah, there's a lot, huh? Sorry about all the mess. I haven't cleaned up from all this interdimensional spell stuff. I'm not sure if I fully remember what's in each potion now that I think about it. I'll have to figure that out later. The pile of books will make its way back to, onto the shelf soon too, once I make some space. It's probably time I cleared out some of my junk, to be honest. It's getting kind of cramped in here. I don't remember the last time I saw that table cleared off completely. Alright, let's see. The sword. The sword? <clears throat> That's what I used to train with back when I was aiming to be a part of the Royal Guard. It's been a while. I still have it there to remind me of those days. I really enjoyed my time getting to be outdoors in the sun training. These days, it's more just a memento than anything. I should get around to fixing that. If I ever find the time, that is. Let's see the window. It's a nice view, huh? 
You can kind of see down into the town from here. Probably one of my favorite things about this room. Oh, and I started growing some plants on the windowsill too. I'm actually not sure what kind of plants they are. They were originally a gift. I didn't pick the seeds out myself. I guess I'll find out eventually when, when they grow big enough to tell. <clears throat> Let's see. Sorry about all the mess. It's a bit, a little embarrassing it's gotten this bad. Kinda hoped you wouldn't notice it with me standing in front of it. This place is kinda cramped, huh? I've yet to really find a place for any of this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna click on you last. Okay, what is this? That's just my potion shelf. Not really my forte, honestly. I'm better at more experimental magic. I'm not really one for following recipes. Just feels weird recreating something that I know already works. Not that good of a cook either, and there's probably a relation there. Do potions expire? If so, I may have to throw them all out. They've been there a while. Let's see, this giant book. The tome? Pretty hefty, huh? Found it in the book in the back of this weird part of the library about a year ago. It's been in my room ever since. It's been instrumental to my progress. Without it, there's no way I could have contacted you. I'm really happy I found it. It has a whole bunch of weird texts in it I have yet to fully decode. I feel like I've only scratched the surface. Can't find any mention of it in the library's catalogs, though. No author, no publication date, no nothing. Maybe it's from another universe. I'll have to really do some research into where this thing came from. Hope there's more volumes to look through. Okay, bookshelf. My book collection. Pretty impressive, right? I've read most of them. Some are technically on loan from the Castle Library, but I don't quite remember which. I just wait until someone comes in asking for a book I have. That system seems to work fine enough. Should probably clear some of these books out. There is very little room for anything new. I do like the visitors, though. Breaks up the monotony of the day a little. I think that's about everything. I'm glad so much of it was interesting to you. Do you have any other questions? Well, oh, I didn't get to click on you. What, what is a Grand Mage? Just a regular mage with a bit more freedom, basically. I spend a lot of my day trying to make magic work for me in ways that'll make the people that hire me happy. I've shown enough promise with magic that I'm allowed to do what I want, somehow. How are you doing this? Oh, I can try and explain if you'd like. Well, as much as I can. There's some areas, like the creation of an interdimensional spell, that I have no idea how to explain. Clearly I made it work, but I only sort of know how I did it. And a whole bunch of trial and error doesn't exactly look good on an official report. <clears throat> it's going to be a while before I know how to explain the process to someone else. There are some things I can talk about, like how I'm using a crystal ball as both a receiver and a transmitter. I cast a spell on it to make it function like an eye too, so you can see me. It's got its limitations. I can't move you without me needing to recast the spell. I don't think you can move the eye around either, it's not a true ocular device. I also don't think the cause can last too long, since it requires a lot of power and for me to stay in the room. But other than that, it's pretty solid. It's functional at the very least. You really seem to enjoy talking about this. Oh yeah, I guess I do. It's really interesting to me to see what I can do with magic as a whole. In theory, there's no limits to what you can do. How can someone not get excited about that? End of conversation. Oh, but enough about me. I should be asking you questions, right? About your world. So what's... I didn't think this through at all. I guess... I didn't think I'd get this far. I don't think I've ever talk, even talked to someone from another kingdom, let alone another world. What is weather? It's a nice day. Sorry, that was a lame question. You don't have to humor me with a response, but I appreciate it. I suppose I should ask some other questions about what your world's like. Uh, what kind of clothes do you wear? Clothes? I don't wear clothes. Uh, very different clothes from yours. Yeah, huh. Well, I suppose my clothes are kind of weird. 
Even I don't normally dress like this. The cape and the hat are just part of the Grand Mage's uniform. I'd be in something a little more casual if I could. It's pretty comfortable, though. Hope whatever you're wearing is comfortable, at least. Oh, I've thought of another question. Do you have magic in your world, at all? Yeah, n no. Wait, none at all? Huh, I mean, hypothetically, I could see a world without magic, but life must be a lot harder. Wow, so there are some major differences between our world. That's so cool. Oh, I hope my magic usage isn't too scary or anything. It's safe, I promise. We mostly use it to support more practical ways of understanding our world. Some people don't like it, but I like how, well, magical it is. But yeah, thanks for answering all that. It's been so cool getting to talk to you on an interdimensional being. Even if my questions were a little lame. So I should probably let someone else know you're here. That my spell to contact you worked out. He's shaking again. Though I don't need to tell them right away or anything. Not sure if I should put it off or not. How about I leave it up to you? If you'd like to meet more people, that's fine with me. Let's put it off for now. Yeah, we can do that. Still in two minds about telling my superiors, if I'm honest. Why the hesitance? Hesitance? Oh, well. I don't know if I should be telling an interdimensional being about this, but... As cool as this is, I don't think I should let others know about your existence. At least not right away. I'm sure my superiors will be happy and all, but it'll mean even more responsibility. Being Grand Mage is a whole lot of pressure. I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Not that this is related to you at all. I've thought about quitting for a while. Quitting? Yeah, I, uh, whoever shows up, don't tell them I said that, okay? If you ever just happen to be good at something you don't intend to be, that's me and magic. I wanted to be a soldier or something like that, but magic just came so naturally to me, eventually I ended up here. Now I'm a grand mage and I have no idea what I'm doing. And what's worse is everyone praises me for it. There's some things I'd like to try doing with magic, like this whole interdimensional contact thing, for example. It's just hard to stick with something like this when there's all this pressure to do it a certain way. Try doing it more your own way. I'm going to be supportive. You think? I'm trying, but I'm not sure if this position will let me. At least not as much as I'd like. I like magic a lot, but making it my job? I don't know. It's not what I thought it'd be. I was originally training to be a soldier. I had the goal of working for the royal family and all that. I guess technically I got that with this position, but I don't have nearly the amount of freedom I thought I have. I don't want to let my family down either, and this job pays great. I don't know how relatable it is to complain about being good at something. I kind of feel like a brat when I do, but I think a lot of people might relate to life not panning out how you thought it would. I know I definitely wasn't expecting to be here. Listen to me rambling on to an otherworldly being about my personal problems. I'm surprised they haven't left. Okay, let me go and get a friend who can confirm that I'm not just in here talking to myself. Uh, not that I think I am. I'm sure you're real, I just like someone else to confirm. It's starting to get a little paranoid, but didn't you say you have to stay in the room? If you leave the room, doesn't the connection break? I know a guy who I can trust with the secret. I'll let him know. He's a really nice guy. I know I can trust him for something like this. This might take a minute, but please don't go anywhere. I'll be back as fast as I can, okay? Okay, nobody, I'm back. I'm still wrapping my... I'm still wrapping my head around this. So you made friends with someone's thing from another world? Yeah, and their name is Nobody. This orb thing is what you're here to show me? Can they talk back to us? Of course, right, Nobody? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna make him look bad. Whoa, this is sick. Good job, dude. So this is Nobody. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, sure, how'd you do all this? Well, I can try and explain if you have a couple hours. That complicated, huh? 
the most complicated thing I think I've ever done. Honestly, even if it was simple magic, it'd still go over my head. I'll try and think of a way to explain it clearer at some point. I don't like not being able to. Surely the other mages could surely the other mages could help you out. What about that cute girly down the hall? Caster? Yeah, can't she help? No, I'm probably going to keep this whole experiment to myself. Serious about keeping it a secret? Yeah. If that's not if that's what you think is best. Okay, well, I gotta get back to practice. You need to make some time to come down and spiral something. It's been way too long. Me and the others have been missing you a whole bunch. Really? Of course. Hasn't been the same since. I don't know why I turned slightly southern. Oh, well, I'll see what I can do. It was nice meeting you, nobody. Take care. You too. Can confirm that you're not crazy, though. I hear nobody speak to. Oh, sorry for those comments earlier, by the way. You know I was just messing around, right? Don't worry about it, it's cool. Is that all you need from me? Uh, yeah. I think so, thanks again. No problem. Okay, bye, sure. Bye, nobody. Oh, well, I guess that was that. A little brief, but still pretty cool. Kind of nice confirming you're real too, and not that I really had too much of a doubt, but you know, magic can be a weird thing. I really needed the talk we've had today. It's given me a lot to think about. Think about what? Just what exactly I'm trying to do here. Being here as the Grand Mage. Thank you for your help today. I didn't do anything. You did though. Listening to me complain on all that, letting me get all that stuff off my chest, I really do appreciate it. I don't have anyone like this I can talk to, so I think it's just kind of stayed bottled up. I thought I had things figured out in my head, but it took speaking it out loud to notice. I wasn't really sure. I feel a bit better now, though. I'm really wondering if this is the right path for me. Don't get me wrong, I like magic. I love working on experiments like this, but... I don't know if I can handle this kind of pressure. I miss using a sword and being outside. Maybe I can incorporate magic into that somehow? Not sure how I'll do that yet, but I don't think staying here will give me that opportunity anytime soon. I do like working with magic, but maybe it wasn't the right choice jumping in and making it a career. I think I'll start considering how to make something else work. Well. Even though this is in another world, it's still a very relatable problem. Preferably more physical work. Thanks, nobody, for helping me work that out about myself. I'll call you back at a later time when I've better sorted out what I want to do my, with my life. I have a couple of ideas. Alright, so that was the first ending, I guess, so now I can revisit him. Okay, I think I have it working. Won't take too long, right? We've still got training to finish up later. It'll only take a sec. Don't you want to talk to nobody again? Oh, alright. Just make sure to make it quick. There we go. Hi, nobody. You there? Yeah. Okay, awesome. I was a little worried because this is an outdoor setup, but nice to see that it's not a problem. Say hi, Pistachio. Hey, it's been a minute. Hope you're doing good. As you can see, my location's definitely changed since last time we talked. I'm trying to be a part of the Royal Guard again, with Pistachio, Pistachio as my instructor. Being outside and physically active again feels great, though I do have a long way to go before I'm where I need to be. Hope you're doing good too. That talk we had really helped me figure out what I was doing. No longer feel nearly as stressed as I was before. The sudden change took a few people by surprise, but I'm definitely happier now that I'm here. Later down the line, I'd like to find a way to reincorporate magic into this. Feels like a bit of a wasted opportunity otherwise. All that time having fun with magic and not using what I learned there? No way. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know how things are going for me. Glad to hear it. Sure, sure, are you done yet? Sorry, nobody. Sure has this exam coming up soon and he's got to practice for it. No offense or anything. Just happy to hear from you again. Just don't want his hard work to go to waste. 
Sorry for the sash, y'all. I'll be writing in a sec. Okay, bye, nobody. Gotta go finish my training for the day. Thanks again, really. Take care. You too. Alright, so I think I'm gonna load from the beginning and try to do something else. Alright, so let's say, what is weather? You don't have weather, really? It's, uh, you know, how the sky changes. Sometimes the sun is out and sometimes there are clouds and rain. This shouldn't be so hard to explain. Like how outside right now, that light with the clouds in the sky, that's the current weather. You don't have that at all? Nope. That's surprising. Guess I shouldn't assume every dimension works the same. Suppose I should ask some other questions about what your world's like. Well, what kind of clothes do you wear? Clothes? Yeah, you know, like how I'm wearing this cape and hat. The things to keep you warm and protect against, I guess, mostly the weather. Hmm. Maybe there'd be less of a need if you don't have weather. There's also clothes to protect against other people. We call that armor here. Or to let other people know what your job is, like how I'm wearing right now a mage uniform. So none of that either, huh? Weird. I'm not trying to judge or anything. Your world just sounds so different from this one. Oh, I thought another question. Do you have any magic in your world? Uh, let's say yes. Cool, I'm glad to know it, it exists in both worlds. Starting to think we had nothing in common. Which would be cool too, but I'd prefer at least a couple of similarities. Do you use it frequently? Some people in this world hardly touch it. All the time. Same here. I don't know how people live without it. I'm so glad to know that I contacted someone who wouldn't be too spooked by a magic portal to another universe suddenly opening up. That could have been awkward, but yeah, thanks for answering all that. It's been so cool getting to so cool getting to talk to an interdimensional being, even if my questions were a little lame. So I should probably let someone else know you're here. Okay, so this is the same. So let's let's try to notify superiors this time. Let someone know, yeah, I can go do that, if you think it's what's best. Why is the, why the hesitance? Okay, so this is the same. Thought about quitting for a while. Um, okay, so it's still the same. Let's, let's try you should leave if you're unhappy. Maybe. It's not that I'm unhappy exactly, it's more anxiety, I think. I feel like I don't have a plan with where my life is going. I was originally trained to be a soldier. And the, okay. So this is also the same. Okay, let me go and, and find someone who's free to record that the spell worked. You know, in case something goes wrong. But I did say I'd go let someone know, didn't I? So now's probably a good time. I'll go see who's available. Uh, please don't go anywhere, I'll be back really soon. Okay, nobody, I'm back. Mind your step, caster. Sorry, it's a bit messy in here. So, what is it exactly you're here to show me? An interdimensional portal, correct? Yeah, it took a while, but I finally got everything working. Good to hear. I'm excited to see the results. Okay, let's acknowledge. Oh. oh you weren't kidding, Sherbert. Good job. So, this is nobody? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. My name is Caster, and I'm a friend of Sherbert. I hope you're doing well, so you can hear and see everything we're saying, nobody. Loud and clear. Great. So how was it that you did this, Sherbert? This is really impressive. I see an ocular transformation spell, but I can't make anything else out at a first glance. I can try and explain the process if you'd like. My apologies, but I don't think I can stay long enough for that right now. Should be able to grant you more funding as a result of your efforts here, though, just based on what I've seen already. I'd also like to apologize if earlier it sounded like I had any doubts about your research, too. I'll admit I was a little confused by it at first, but I'm glad it's proven fruitful. Oh, uh, thanks for the apology. It's okay. I understand what I was trying to pitch was kind of strange. I do want to stress how incredible this is, though. Fantastic work. Please keep it up. Okay, goodbye, Sherbert, and goodbye, nobody. Hope we'll get to talk more at a different point in time. Uh, that went well. She was really impressed by that, wasn't she? 
that went a lot better than expected if I'm honest. Kind of nice confirming you're real too. Not that I really had too much of a doubt, but you know, magic can be a weird thing. I really needed the talk we've had today. It's given me a lot to think about. Think about what? Just what exactly I'm trying to do here, being here as the Grand Mage. Thank you for your help today. Happy to have helped. L listening to me complain, that's the same. Thought I had things figured out, I feel better, still don't know what I'm trying to do. But between this experiment working out and Caster being impressed by it, that felt nice. Maybe I can just do more of what I want here. I don't know if that sounds selfish or not, but I don't work well if I dislike what I'm doing. If I hold on to the Grand Mage title, that'll give me options for the future. Especially now, I'm starting to prove my experiments can work. No, I've also been thinking about combining my love of swordplay into things too. I have a friend who I used to train with, we still talk sometimes, but he could give me some ideas. I think I'll try and do more of that, so thank you. Call you back at a later date when I've sorted out what I want to do with my life. I have a couple of ideas. Okay, so let's see how uh, the scene has changed. Okay, this should work. There we go. Oh, nice. You there, nobody? Yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> hey, Caster, look. Nobody's back. Nobody? Oh, hey, it's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Just wanted to call you again and tell you how things are going. Feels like so much has happened since then. The Mage Guild really has really taken to my interdimensional communication idea and I got a promotion. I'm finally moving into a different room too. It's way bigger. Uh, as you can probably see. You're right about sticking to this whole mage thing. It feels much better now I have a bit more freedom. Caster's now my apprentice. Might be the best part not having to do as she says anymore. Don't think I can't hear you from here, Sherbert. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, I hope you're doing good, and that talk we had really helped me figure myself out. I needed it. Even though everything turned out fine, the pep talk was very appreciated. I no longer feel as stressed as I was before. That's great. <clears throat> right? All thanks to just talking things through with you. Oh, and I also have permission to take on more experimental projects. think for my next one I'll try and involve the Royal Guard somehow. Love to involve my history with swords too, and maybe finding a way to be outside more, or... Sorry to interrupt, Sherver, but you have a meeting with the Council soon. Are you ready for it? Uh, mostly? I don't think mostly is good enough. Uh, I think that might be my cue to head out, nobody. Sorry the chat was short. I'm really happy I stuck to being a mage. Thanks again, really. Take care. You too. Okay, so that was the second ending. Now let's try some different choices and see if anything happens. Alright, so this time let's try to remain silent. Uh, hello? Nobody? Nobody? Who's that? If this is a joke, it really isn't funny, nobody. Uh, hold on, Caster, let me try and call them back. Alright, so that completely just ended the run. Um, so let's try doing the same thing and remaining silent with Pistachio. Alright, so let's remain silent. Uh, hello? Nobody? Are you still there? This is a joke, it really isn't funny. Uh, hold on, Pistachio, let me try and call them back, so it's the same. Alright, so I think that's it for Sherbert in a Bottle. I really liked, um, the art. I think the game was pretty cool, too. Dialogue was nice, you know, the concept was all very nice. And, you know, it's a pretty short game, but I really did enjoy it. But anyways, uh, that's all for today. If you enjoyed, then don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.